other day I was uh, pondering this kitchen when I start getting when I get started on it, trying to think about what I would do with these cabinets. And the thing is, is there's a lot of cabinets in here for something that's basically going to be a vacation home and an Airbnb. <clears throat> so it's going to have a lot of empty space, a lot of empty cabinets going on. And I thought, what if we turn one side into a bar? So I talked to Gil and I got the go ahead. So I'm going to remove this cabinet and this counter and cabinet and this little guy on the end, and then we're gonna build just a small little bar top that kind of goes over here towards the door. And because you really can't have a cheeky house without a bar in it, so it only seemed like the right thing to do. So we'll get started on that. Hey, so I'm really happy today. I've been using a GoPro Hero 5 to document the whole build process of this place. My problem has been I can't quite get the video quality where I want it or to be consistent, and the audio has been terrible. So I went out and got myself a new toy. The GoPro Hero 9, the brand new one. Hi everyone, I think this looks a lot better, don't you? <laughs> well, I'm excited to uh, see what this one We'll do, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so the way that these videos have kind of laid out have been a little bit of a hodgepodge, <clears throat> which is why if you've noticed, uh, the living room has been getting done in the background as you're watching me do stuff that was getting done in the bedrooms. So as a result, it's a little out of sync. Um, now that the bedroom has finally got done yesterday up to the center section, I haven't done the floors or the ceiling area yet, but everything else in the room is all done, which is a video you guys saw probably a week ago or so. I don't know. We'll see whatever happens when that gets uploaded. Uh, so now I'm going to get that living room up to that same level. And first to do that, I have to make some room. So here we go. All right, it's clean, rearranged, and now we can start skinning the windows and get that done. All right, all the pieces are cut. <clears throat> now we just have to stain them. these uh
So the trim that I used in the bedroom was the mocha colored that I darkened up a little bit and kind of gave it like more of a modeling age, you know, grime look. And in the living room, I'm using the natural uh, bamboo, which looks like this. And it is just undone, unstained natural color. But I think it's a little too blonde to match up with what's going on in the room. So I decided to do a little bit of staining on it. So you can get a comparison of the two of them next to each other. I used the Japans again, and I'm doing the raw sienna and the burnt sienna. Um, raw sienna across the whole thing, and then I'm just kind of going over the, the nodes, um, like you know, a little bit to the right and left of it with the darker red air color, just to give it some, uh, some definition. And I really like the way it looks, and I think it matches in the room a lot better. So, let's get started on that.
All right, so that's about as much as I can do on the trim work. Um, the problem that I have is, A, the floor needs to get done. So again, I'm not gonna do the lower half until I can get the base moldings in, which can't go in until I get the floors done. The upper half, I don't wanna do until I do the um, grid, and get the grid laid out. I can't go beyond because I'm actually gonna remove this and this and this whole countertop because I'm gonna build a bar here instead. So this whole wall needs to get skinned together. So I'm stopping this right here because I don't want to put the borders in yet. Uh, I'm not going to put the sides in, uh, the upper ones, until I make the box um, that I'm going to do for the center beam. I'm going to do a wood style beam box that slides over that. And it'll look a lot better with, you know, aged wood and some kind of a, a paint technique to it. So those can't get done. But everything else in here is good. Um, I can't do here because I'm actually going to do a new countertop on this. So I don't want to put this piece in. And I still have to skin this before I can put this piece in. So, that's, uh, I guess that's it for this stage. Again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out. And I hope you like it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to use them. But please be sure to hit that like button. Thanks a lot. See you guys later.